What I am about to share may not change your life, but it could change your death. I know that sounds a bit somber, but stay with me for a minute. I'm talking about five wishes. It's basically a living will, and if signed and notarized, it can be a legally binding document. It's really heartfelt and has the ability to start meaningful conversations about your personal, emotional, and spiritual needs, along with your medical wishes before you pass. Five Wishes was created by Jim Tuohy. For more than a decade, Jim worked closely with Mother Teresa, and for a year, he lived in a hospice house she ran in Washington, D.C. Inspired by this experience with living with death on a daily basis, he wanted a way for patients and families to plan ahead. So he created this document. Now you would think I might have shared five wishes with my own mother, but I hadn't, until my mom attended one of my classes and I happened to be discussing this. Shortly after, my mom and I were having dinner alone and she asked if we could talk about it. We went through five wishes, line by painstaking line. Honestly, I was terribly uncomfortable, but my mom was very clear and calm, and we were able to talk about death from the perspective of what could be the best scenario for her to create. She told me she loved music and would enjoy having the sounds of Pavarotti or Andrea Bocelli in her room. She very much wanted a priest to give her her last rites. She wanted her family there, and if possible, she wanted someone holding her hand. Touching her was important, more so than my sometimes very tough mother led me to believe. In 2015, I got the call that no one ever wants. My mom was being rushed to the hospital. When I arrived, she was on life support. My mom actually had a do not resuscitate order, but the EMT didn't know that. And honestly, in that moment, I just wanted a little more time with her. With that time, I was able to do many of the things she requested. A priest gave her her last rites. We played her favorite music, and most importantly, our family gathered to say goodbye, and we held my mom's hand. That conversation with my mom changed this entire experience. I strongly encourage each of you to read Five Wishes and contemplate what is important to you, and then share it with someone you love. If you would like a copy, go to our website, www findmarkbank.com. Until next time, I'm Adria Starkey with Aspire, Findmark's financial series for women.